So I'm showing you how to create a pong game, and, and already we've got it so this ball moves, it will bounce off the paddle, you know, bounce off edges. Okay, so we've kind of got the game, but we're not keeping score. I'm going to show you how to keep score, and we're going to have to set the score to zero when the user clicks start or reset, okay, those buttons. And we're going to need to add one to the score when these two objects collide, when the ball hits the, the uh, paddle, okay. And I'm I'm going to do it with the procedure, cause, and and with the variable, okay. And the, you know the variable is going to be kind of a hidden um, piece of memory, right? That's what a variable is. The user can't see it, you know. So this label is different from this variable that I just defined, this global score. And I'm going to start this guy off as zero, okay. And you know, so we've got this variable called zero. And what we're going to want to do, you know, from three different places is change that variable, change what number's in that memory cell, and then show it, in this case, show it in a label. Now, if we changed our, our app so we wanted to show it with a slider or some other way of showing the score, um, we could just change the procedure. Okay, so I'm going to define a procedure. And I'm, I'm going to call this procedure change and show score. Because we're going to both change this variable and show it in this, in this label. Okay. And you know what I want to do is I'm going to let whoever calls it give it an input or a parameter, and that parameter is going to be called the new score. Okay, so basically someone can use this procedure, send in a number, and this procedure will actually change our memory cell and also change the the you know the way it looks on the screen. Okay, all right. So once we've got you know what's this procedure going to do? Well. It's going to change my global score, okay? So it's going to change my kind of permanent score to whatever is sent to it, the new score. Okay, and then the second thing it needs to do is just kind of grab that thing and show it in the way we want to show it. In this case, you know, we're showing it in the label, the, the label called label score. And what we want to put here is a join because we want to kind of cobble together two things. One is just the fixed text score colon. Okay, and then of course we want to actually show um, the current value of the global score. Okay, so this procedure, right now, you know, this isn't helping us at all. We're not actually using the procedure yet, but we know we've got this thing that if we send it a number, it'll both change the score of the game and then change the user's view of that score. Okay, so I've got this procedure. I can now use it. I click on procedures and I've got this new call block. I've got a new block, right? That's nice. And, you know, when the game starts, I want to change and show score. And my new score, I'm going to send it to zero. All right, so there it is. And I can just use the same exact block now on the reset button. So reset just brings the ball up top sets the score zero but doesn't start things. Start actually gets things moving, okay? But in either case, I just want to change and show score and set the score back to, to zero, okay? Note, I would have had to kind of repeat some complicated blocks in both of these if I didn't have a procedure, all right? Finally, the, you know, the, the other thing I need to do is um, when the ball collides with the paddle, I'm going to give the user a point. All right, so once again, I'm just going to call my new procedure. This one's going to be a little more complicated. So I don't want to send it zero, right? When, when, I, when the ball hits the paddle, I want my score to be incremented. I want to add one to it and then show it. Okay, so really what I'm going to send as the new score is the current score. And then I'm going to grab a plus block and then stick a one in there. All right, and I think that should do it. So I'm calling my procedure from three places. Here I call it and kind of increment my score as I do it, okay? And over here I just kind of reset the score back to zero. So let's test this, this app. I'm gonna to touch start, and the score should change zero. And you know, kind of when it hits the paddle, the score should increment by one. I think, uh, let's see, yeah, there it goes to two, good. Now, if I click uh, reset, score goes back to zero. Okay, cool. So I think things are, are working. So a couple things. One, this is a very common pattern for score. You want to 
increment score by one, some variable, show it in some way, in this case with the label. Um, we knew we were going to do it from three different places, okay? So we could have kind of just copied some of these blocks into three different places, but instead we kind of, you know, farmed them out to this procedure, and then we could just call the procedure with a single kind of simpler block, leave some of the details um, to this procedure, um, and get, you know, get, get the details kind of out of the way of of these other event handlers.